Governor Bashir today announced another milestone we hoped we wouldn't reach. More than 500 Kentuckians have now died from the coronavirus in the state. In Lexington, as the virus continues to spread, they're seeing an increase in cases in the Hispanic community. As LEX 18's Mike Valenti reports, communities of color continue to be disproportionately affected. That's the big story at six. Life looks quite different from what it did just two months ago. Businesses have begun reopening, people are eating out again, and protesters have taken to the streets to fight against racial injustice. One thing we can't see is the virus, but it's still out there. It's worth remembering, it is not over. This is not the second wave, we're still in the first wave. Do you worry that people may be lulled into a sense of complacency as we enter the sixth month of this pandemic? There's absolutely COVID fatigue among the people of Lexington. If you look at the COVID number of cases that we had in the Hispanic community uh, for three months, it was very, very low. Um, and I think that the community got complacent. This time last week, Lexington reported that 177 people who identify as Hispanic tested positive for coronavirus. Today, that number is up to 266, and Latinx people make up for 24% of the total cases in the city, even though they make up just 7% of the city's total population. This is a very sociable uh, community. Um, we have extended family. You know, we can, we can have a new, uh, a new friend, and, and that friend may become part of our family very quickly. Isabel Taylor works in the mayor's office as a multicultural affairs coordinator, and she runs Global X. She says they found that some businesses in predominantly Hispanic communities were not adhering to social distancing measures. But really, the problems go deeper than that. Taylor heard from people who said they just weren't getting adequate information about COVID-19. It's, it's a community that is very mindful of following uh, protocol and procedures and the law. But in this case, they've been misled by a lot of false information on the internet, et cetera. So um, they need to realize what is going on here in Lexington. So recently, the mayor's office, the health department, and a handful of nonprofit organizations have teamed up with Radio Lex, which has a 24-7 Spanish language radio station on WLXL. There wasn't an infrastructure for communicating in any language other than English. And so the folks you see here, some folks in the governor's office really scrambled to try to make a network that was functional and that would get the word out. According to Taylor, there are more than 193 languages represented in Lexington. And this network of groups wants to make sure going forward that vital health information is not lost in translation. In Lexington, Mike Valenti, LEX 18 News.